What up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I'm gonna do a video on installing some E-Tracks inside of my homeboy trailer. So he just picked up on a brand new trailer the other day and he's gonna be hauling like motorcycles and appliances and things like that. So he wanted to put down some E-Tracks inside of the uh, trailer. For those that don't know what E-Tracks are, let me show you, it's these. It's a real nice trailer too. So the E-Tracks are these things right here. So basically you can use straps or tie downs or whatever have you. So we're gonna be installing the E-Tracks in here and also this motorcycle uh, stand in the front. Now the motorcycle stand, he wants to be able to remove it if he need to. So I'm gonna do that a little bit different and uh, hook that up to make that removable. However, these E-Tracks are gonna be, and they're gonna be permanent. So um, you will be able to remove them or move them if you need be later on, but it's gonna be a lot of work to take them back out. But we're gonna get those put in, uh, get this rack put in. And also he have these new things they call X-Tracks. Never heard of them, this is my first time actually seeing them. So they're a little bit like the E-Tracks. Um, I just don't know what type of hookups you use with them. I've never seen them before, but we're going to get those hooked up, get these installed, and get this installed. And, you know, we're going to get it, make it do what it do, all right? So we're going to get this trailer moved over. Um, when he dropped it off, it was kind of an awkward spot in the driveway, but um, I just told him to drop it right there for the time being. But we're going to get it moved over and get it in the center of the garage so I can have some space to work because as of right now, I can't let it down let the back down so I'm gonna need the back ramp open so that I can be able to walk in and out and climbing inside that door on the side just ain't gonna work so we're gonna get this thing uh hooked up to the truck move it on over and uh get it in the center of the uh, garage so I'll be able to work all right so as you can see we got it all moved over so now we're able to walk in and out the trailer and of course I got my help here that's my help for the day major you gonna come say hi to the um, camera major you gonna say hi he ain't gonna say hi, but look, I've already uh, checked out the studs up under. I do have my own stud finder. I'm not sure if it'll work on the metal studs or not. It says it should. Um, I'm gonna use it, but basically, you have two inch studs every, I wanna say, uh, two feet apart on the inside of it. So we're gonna mark those off. We're gonna put the E track about a foot away from each wall. So. We're gonna get that all marked up. Uh, got my tape measure and my pencil over here. And once we get all that marked up, we're gonna start installing and putting screws in and get these things mounted, all right? All right, so we got everything all measured out and I got the E-Tracks in the spots that I want them to be in right now and I'm able to hit three studs with it. Um, unfortunately, the studs are two inches wide and the holes on the E-Track are two inches wide, exactly. So in order to be able to get it on, it's almost like you gotta slide it. So I'm putting one hole on both sides in the middle of the stud, all right? So the studs are already marked. I tried to use a stud finder. Stud finder wouldn't work because it's on wood, trying to look through the wood to see the metal. And honestly, for some reason, it wouldn't pick it up. It just stand that is automatically on the stud from the beginning. So just going by what they got marked off, I did get up under the trailer. It was two inches. I uh, measured it with the tape measure. It's two inches wide. It's almost like a a, a half a square beam. It's, it's cut out, so it's not a solid beam. So we're just gonna go to those. Um, I got them 10 inches from the wall on both sides and 32, 32 and three quarters from the back, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and get those all used, um, installed. And the screws that I'm going to be using are going to be the uh, self-drilling screws for metal to metal. So it's going through the metal. I'm using an inch and a half. That should be long enough to be able to get through the E-track, the wood, and through the stud to give it a nice good hold. Um, those are hex head screws. Um, I do have some wood screws. Not the wood screws, but some... Uh, Drilling tap fasteners for metal through um, to wood. So we're gonna use those. Those are actually uh, Phillips heads. So we're gonna be using two different types of screws. One to screw into the wood. And I'm not gonna do every hole on the E-Track. We're basically gonna go every three holes. 
Um, I'm gonna do the ones on the studs and then go every three holes from there and put them on there. Thanks a lot, Major. I'm sure you probably kicked everything and moved it around, but we're gonna do every three holes after we hit the studs. Um, I'm gonna actually put some screws in for the wood to be able to hold it in place and then come back and drill into the metal studs. And we're gonna go from there, all right? So we got the E-Tracks all installed. Um, got the wood screws in, the ones that's going through to the wood, and we got the ones that's going into the metal beams. Uh, let me show you. So those are the ones that's going to the metal beam, and these are the wood screws. So I might go on and put, because I brought a whole box of the wood screws, these ones, um, they're an inch and a quarter, so that's enough to go through to the wood. I might just go on and fill it up and put more in there and do maybe every other hole or every hole on the opposite side or something like that, because it's a whole box, but um, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, sorry about the little stuffed animal and whatnot. Well, that's for the dog. He, he had it out in here, then he decided he wanted to do something else. But anyway, so we got it all installed. Um, next thing we got to tackle is installing this um, wheel chop, bike wheel chop. So that's going to require me to go up under the trailer to do it. Um, what I'm going to be doing because he wanted to be removed, I brought some um, some uh, T nuts. They're for furniture, but basically you take the screw and you pull it in and it bites into the wood. So uh, let me see if I can get one out of the package. Let's see if I can get one going. So we can see it. So basically, see it? The nut has got these teeth on there or spikes. So basically, you drill a hole through the wood and put your bolt in. Let me see. Put your bolt in and basically it'll just tighten and pull it all the way up like that the more you tighten the more to pull up and then once you finish it'll lock lock itself in place and you'll be able to take this screw back out but this t-nut will forever be in there um unless you take a flathead screwdriver and pull it out or something like that but it shouldn't go nowhere it almost acts as a, a locking screw i mean a locking washer so we're going to install those on the wheel bike wheel chop up here and get that going and um once we do that we'll be almost done and then we just gotta install these i'm not sure where i'm gonna install those because i don't know if you i can't remember if you want them on the wall um to be able to support anything on the wall or if you want them on the floor but if you want them on the floor i'm gonna end up installing one here and probably one on the other side so we'll get them straight all right and if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and also hit the notification bell so that when I'm doing other videos like this, I do a lot of how-to videos and gun videos and motorcycle reviews. Well, not reviews, but motorcycle riding. But um, please hit them buttons, um, share with your friends. Um, yeah, do that for me. <laughs> All right, let's get it. All right, YouTube. <laughs> so we got the uh we got the e-tracks in and we got the little x x tracks whatever you want to call it Ooh, major we got all that installed and now we're about to get the uh bike rack installed man look cut it out sit down so we're gonna get that all marked up um actually i've already marked the spots um where the holes that that we're gonna be using i just took my pen and drew a hole so i just gotta come back with my drill bit and drill through the wood and then what we're gonna do is put those bolts and that uh, t-nut in um, so I'm gonna have to drill the holes slide the bolts in and while I'm up under the trailer just slide all of the t-nuts on so I'm gonna have to drill all four holes first put the bolts in sit down man you gonna say hi to the camera we were just finished taking us a break getting us some water he was tired from doing nothing look at him ah, ah. yeah big boy big boy Talk about that slobber. But we're going to get that going and uh, get that all finished up. Move, man. All right. So let's get started. All right, YouTube. So we got it all complete. Everything is done. Everything is installed. Everything looks nice and neat. 
Um, he shouldn't have any issues with anything. Um, if he do, he got a warranty with me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't hold no warranty. No, I do hold a warranty. But I stand behind my work, so I know I don't really need a warranty. How about that? All right, so we got it all done. We got the mount mounted in. Um, those are the four bolts that's on there. So if he need to take them out, he could just remove these bolts. And the T-nuts are, let's see how I can do this. Uh, up under there. I don't know if you can see them, but they're right there. All of them are in the wood. Tight as can be. Sorry, had to get up off the ground. We got his E-track in, looking nice and neat. And his X-racks right here on the side. So if you want to strap down from the handlebars, you got a strap here, here. Also, he can strap here. And this thing is not going anywhere because of these four bolts. It's pretty tight. Um, so, another job in the books. Uh, me and my partner, Major, we got it all done, even though he got in the way most of the way. So, I think it's time for me to pay him. Should we give you a treat, Major? Should we give you a treat? Huh? You want a treat? So, let's give him a treat. Come on. Come on. Sit. Sit. Good boy. All right. That's your pay for the day. For a hard day's work. All right. <laughs> got my partner paid. We got everything all done. Once again, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. All right. Um, continue to watch out for new videos coming soon. And once again, I appreciate you watching. Thanks again. Peace. Thank you.